Hi, my name is Jochen Christine and today I will show you how to use the new search guard control feature that ships with the brand new search guard Flex Security Suite for Elasticsearch. In the last video, we used the search guard TLS tool to generate our TLS certificates. We also generated a TLS admin certificate, which we will use in this video for connecting to our cluster and uploading configuration changes. My cluster is still up and running and I've opened a new shell in my FLX demo where I have my SGCTL executable located. So let's head over to our search guard TLS tool where we can find all the generated files in the out directory. And for SGCTL, <clears throat> I need the admin key, the admin certificate and the root CA which I'm just copying to the same location as search guard control. So the first thing that I need to do is to connect to my Elasticsearch cluster, which runs on localhost. For this, I'm going to use the search guard control connect command, and I'm specifying the host. In my case, it's localhost. I'm specifying my admin certificate with a minus minus cert option and the private key for the certificate with a minus minus key option. And I'm also specifying the root CA and of course my password for the key for my TLS admin certificate. Now, when I execute this command, search card control will connect to the cluster and it will store these connection settings as a profile. So next time I want to connect to my cluster, I don't need to specify all the certificate settings again. I can just use search guard CTL SH connect and then provide the host name, in my case localhost. And you can see that we already connect connected to the cluster without having to specify any TLS settings at all. Search guard CTL will store this connection settings as a connection profile and is able to handle multiple different profiles. So suppose you want to apply a search guard configuration, which you tested on staging to your production cluster. Then you would just use SGCTL connect staging, download all the configuration files. Then you would use SGCTL connect production and upload the configuration files again. So as a first step, I want to upload a couple of configuration settings. In my root directory, I already have a couple of configuration files for internal users, for my authentication and authorization uh, setting. So let's have a quick look at the internal users file, which contains, for example, the admin user, a user for Kibana, for Logstash, et cetera, et cetera. So I want to upload all these security settings to my cluster. So this is as easy as typing search guard CTL again, then update configuration, and then just specify the directory where you have your configuration files located. And you can see our configuration has been updated on Elasticsearch. You can also update just single files. So if you just want to update the internal user database, for example, you could do search guard control, again, update config, and then just give the path to one specific file like the SG internal users YAML file, which then only updates the internal users. Okay, so let's try to add a new user. Of course, we could just go to our configuration file, SG internal users, and add it here. Um, but another cool way to add users, which I want to show you now, is to use search guard control directly. So the user I want to add um, is called my user. And first let's see and check that this user in fact at the moment does not have any access to the cluster because we haven't created it yet. And you get authentication failed. Now let's use search guard control to add this particular user to our security configuration. So here I'm just using the add user command directly. I specify the username, which is my user. I specify the password, which is also my user. 
and I'm assigning the backend roles read all to this user. The read all backend role maps this user to a search guard role, which grants read access to all indices in the cluster, but nothing more than that. So let's try to execute it. And you can see that the internal user, my user has been created. Now let's see if the user actually works. So I'm just going to execute the command we used before and try to search my index with the user, my user. And as you can see, now the command succeeds. So we have successfully added a user with search guard control without even touching any configuration file at all using our stored connection profile for the cluster running on localhost. That's it for this video. See you in the next video where we explore authentication authorization settings and also how to use configuration variables in our configuration file. Thank you very much and see you then. Bye-bye.